Hi, my name is Mark the Liberty and welcome to the AFT YouTube channel. What you'll see here is an application where we were using an ICF building assembly, um, pretty cool detailing, and now we're trying to integrate the weather protection layer in ICFs, which can be a bit difficult to get everything to, to attach well. In wood frame, it's easy to hammer tacker things on. Here's we've got to use liquid and self-adhered flashings. This is a bucked window opening. We're gonna look at this flashing material, which is butyl adhesives. You can see what a nice way we've created these ways of descent of water draining back onto the Great strategy, great opportunity, and we'll see more of this in the future. We're here at the uh, Liberty Estate site for um, the AFT project. It's in the Somerset community downhill in Gilbert. Uh, beautiful location, amazing spot. And we're working on this project um, showing ICFs. And today we're gonna talk just a little bit about the importance of getting weather protection on ICF structures. What's difficult about an ICF building, as you know, is its performance and, and structural attributes are wonderful, but trying to get things to adhere to this surface to act as weather protection is always a little bit difficult. As we look at uh, ICFs in, on application, they have a tendency to dust as they sit out in the sun. So what we do on ICF projects is we will first initially pressure wash the wall to clean off all of the dusting that comes with it. Otherwise, no, nothing will really attach to it. In this particular project, we're using a product called Partel, which is a self-adhered uh, weather protection layer. And as the Partel is a product, has a um, uh, acrylic adhesive background uh, on the back side of it. So what's gonna happen is this will get removed and then it'll be in installed onto the ICF, wrapped to the inside as we move through the rest of the approach to install the windows, flash them appropriately, draining to the outside. On the window application, we're gonna be using Tyvex Flex Wrap, Straight Flash, and their flashing products in combination with the Partel um, self-adhered weather barrier. This will give us a nice um, installation. It'll give us watertight and structurally um, ideal for this application. One of the ways that we often see with an ICF application on this particular project is, as you can see, the way that they do the forms for the ICF, they're using a LVL buck to create the opening for the uh, in the pour, the concrete pour. Then what will happen is they'll take a buck of some type and they'll also install that to the inside. Once they determine the depth where the window will set, they'll then build a buck that will sit like this. That now gives us a place to have, if we have a finned window, the finned will then mount on this surface and then be installed in the opening. Um, ICFs are a little more difficult sometimes when you're doing bucks because you oversize the openings then you have to build bucks to fill in where, whatever the window needs. Um, if they're a non-finned window, then what we have to do is we put a, a gasket and then a backer rod and we put a sealant bead there to then attach the balance of it to the weather protection layer. So this project is gonna have a little of both. We'll watch both methods of using a fin applied window and a non-finned window into the opening. So here today, you'll see how this is gonna go in. We're gonna use um, an example of Tyvek and the uh, Partel to show what we would do in this opening. So um, Jose here from WPL is gonna help us uh, demonstrate a little bit about what we would normally do. Now I think on this application, uh, Jose, you might even install a piece of straight flash first, I would think, I in this so. opening. <laughs> you don't want to so, do there's a product like this that DuPont has, which is called DuPont Straight Flash. It's a um, butyl-backed adhesive. And just because we're not doing this actual installation, we just want to show you what the overall intent is, is to first install a layer of uh, probably straight flash in the opening, is what um, Jose and his crew will help do. And they'll use the uh, tools to then put that on. And you can see what we're starting to do is protect the wood substrates below this. Then as the installation and the application goes, he's gonna look at flex wrap. So imagine in this application, we're gonna probably install the buck like this so that it gives us a good surface to then attach to. Now, Jose does this in commercial buildings as well as residential here in Arizona. And this is a common connection that he has to work with often. So Jose, you can kind of show us what you do to make that work. Yeah, I just wanna form around this here. Then remove the outer part of the lining here. And just start stretching this in. So you can see how the flex wrap allows you to kind of flex around these complicated corners. 
Recessed uh, window installations, which is extraordinarily common in the Southwest, make these details quite difficult because you're trying to imagine all these things have to drain onto the, uh, the adjacent layer. So this is going to be how, how that will end up working. Um, then when they look at the Partel application, they'll probably be putting that in with the buck in place and he'll probably install this product similar to, to how we showed you before where it'll go on the building this way and then wrap to the inside. So there are various ways we can do this and we'll try a couple different approaches to demonstrate how we'll use self-adhereds. We can also take and put the self-adhered on first and then put all the bucking materials over the top and then put the tapes in place. So we'll start doing some mock-ups here in the next uh, few weeks and start demonstrating the ways in which we'll pick the ideal installation method for an ICF finned and non-finned bucked opening. So it's really important that we get this right the first time. So those are the choices we'll have to make as the time uh, kind of uh, presents itself. So one of the applications that we're gonna kind of look at here is that this is a product by uh, Partel and it's a self-adhered um, weather protection layer. In ICF projects, it's a nice system to use because we'll be attaching this to the surface layer and then in some cases adding lath scratch, stucco, uh, whatever the next level is. So if you want to take your, your knife. So in this application, we're going to show you uh, one of the methods we can use okay. to attach this. Let them drop that in. So the opportunity here is for us to protect the opening prior to the window install, as we saw on the previous application. Now we've got our self-adhered material, which will then eventually it'll, we'll apply it to the uh, ICF here on the wall. Then, then the next step would be, Jose would start building his application with the buck, as we saw in the, in the, the example here. So, Jose, if you want to do that, we can uh, show that. Yeah, that, I'm going to do an outer well. flex first, and then we'll do an inner inner straight. So, if you don't mind. Yep, let me use the knife here. There we go. Oh. Now, one of the ways we uh, will probably do things in the in the future here will be to wrap um, the inside as well um, with the partel to make sure that we have this kind of coverage goes all the way over. You can see when you have self-adhered systems, you have the ability to um, attach the self-adhereds to itself. It bonds extremely well and it'll stick to itself. That way we can put that on and make sure we have great adhesion in the opening. Now, as we put the buck in, install the buck like this and you can see now we've protected all the wood surfaces prior to that application so do you want to put the, the straight flash in first yeah right straight flash in first kind of overlap and then i'll do a full flex on this side Sounds here great. right on that overlap i'm gonna use this release here to line myself up on the outer edge just go around like that Make sure we're all nice and tight. So this yeah. is helping us prepare the opening so that all the successive layers from the window flashing, which will be unsealed at the bottom, draining it down should there be any window leak, draining onto it, eventually finding its way to the partel on that surface. So what, what Jose is doing is making sure that we have multiple layers of prep and flashing material. So we'll use ideal systems. We'll probably also use some liquid flashing around details just to show different ways of adhering finned and non-finned windows into the opening. Now you can see what a beautiful protection. All the wood is now protected and it's in great shape. Now when he installs the flex wrap, you'll see that he's gonna build a special corner just to install the window well. Now we've got a perfect connection here. Then when we put the next layer of Partel over it, We'll bring that back to the inside. Gotcha. Let me just get this special corner adhered right here. We're going to introduce it right inside there. Okay. We'll do another inner, yep. inner sill right now. Yep. Tight. 
you can see in applications like this, when we're using a, a tape product, you have to really be careful to get things in the corners so that when the window comes in, that it wouldn't, wouldn't hold it back in the corner, and that we don't tear that. Because of the flex wraps uh, capabilities, he'll be able to roll both corners with a single use piece of tape, which really allows us to have continuous, there's no seams, gaps, caulk joints in here. All of this then layers beautifully onto the, uh, the partel. So now I've got this wrapped as it's done here, and this application allows you to see a nice watertight seal. Um, as we start moving up the, the rest of the way, um, Jose can then bring down and make sure that all the flashing is supported underneath the window openings. Now this of course could be also done with liquid flashing. When the window went up against the fin, we could liquid flash that inside corner, making sure we never flash the bottom of course, and we'll go up and around the window opening. So there's lots of ways to get an ICF flashed properly. Um, it is pretty important though to use it with a uh, self-adhered system like this. As we install at the window, we'll then flash in here and make sure everything is clean. As you can see down at the bottom here, one of the other things we wanted to demonstrate is when you look at the termination of how the weather protection layer then meets the foundation wall. This will have a layer of liquid flashing at this joint between the ICF and the foundation wall. That'll seal up all the gaps and seams between the foundation and the ICF. Once that's in place, we'll bring the, the uh, self-adhered weather barrier over the top of that, creating an incredibly watertight as well as airtight seal. Um, here in Arizona, that'll prevent things like uh, scorpions and insects and all the bugs that like to travel into the building. So this joint will be watertight, the windows will be watertight, and all the penetrations in the building will then be watertight. So the building is structurally quite remarkable in terms of an ICF, thermally insulated um, as an ICF is, and then all the window and flashing details will really matter and be done extraordinarily well. So you can see this application now, if the window was thinned, the window would get put on here and then screwed through. This would provide some self-sealing as the screw goes through into the window frame. So this buck is going to be completely always protected, showing this depth difference, which is for aesthetics, um, allow us to make sure that it's all watertight and flowing back to the outside, then hitting the weather barrier on the outside, the uh, self-adhered partel, and draining back off the building. <laughs>